in the confusion order, the 4th of May is a big day. The Martyrs, the first of the Reformation. It started on this day. Those priors, Augustine Webster, Robert Lawrence and John Horton, went with Father Reynolds, the Brigitine father, were hanged, drawn and quartered after being carried through the streets of London, pulled and dragged on a hurdle. And there they suffered the punishment for high treason. Thomas More sought him go from his cell in the Tower of London and said to his daughter Meg, see how they go, as joyful as bridegrooms going to the wedding feast. They actually had been perplexed earlier on for already in 1534 there had been the act of succession allowing Henry to choose his own successor. It would therefore take away from the daughter of Catherine of Aragon the right to succession in her daughter Mary, Mary Tudor. Initially the Carthusians had been willing to die to defend the rights of the legitimate successor and they were imprisoned. But it was pointed out to them actually by Catholics, theologians and experts that it was not actually worth dying for that particular cause on its own because the king could really choose to order the succession. It was within his power. And so they backed down and they were allowed to go. But then things got worse and when it came to the act of supremacy, as in the case of Thomas More and John Fisher, they couldn't go any further. In solitude I was given the whole story to read. Lots went on at that time. They went, before all this erupted, into prayer mode of the community, asking the help of the Holy Ghost, and they celebrated the Mass of the Holy Spirit, and this miracle took place. They all saw tons of fire coming down from heaven during the celebration. They were to be given strength to speak. And they were right. The bishops, except for John Fisher, did not have the courage to stand out, and we know that what happened was a disaster. Mary's dowry, England, was lost eventually. There was a case of one young monk in formation who was always disgruntled and he complained about everything and one time this fish came through the guiche and he said I'd rather eat frogs or toads than that fish and the Lord obliged him by giving him for a whole month the said beasts in quantity crawling all over his cell he tried to burn them and they produced a horrible stench he was nursing to death a old lay brother and before he petered out he asked him if he would, when he got to heaven, come back and give him a word. And sometime later this young monk was in his oratory in the cell praying and he did appear before him, the departed by then lay brother and he was in a place of great glory, but he indicated that the priors who had been martyred were even in a, an even higher place. But he pointed out that he himself, the other one left on earth, was in danger. Take heed to thyself, and he indicated what could happen. 
if he didn't pay heed to the warning, but he didn't. He lost his vocation and possibly his faith. Off he went to the continent anyway and had a very colourful life. We have this image of our blessed lady holding the Carthusian safe under her mantle. The office of Beata, the Blessed Virgin's office, is attached to the inquiry office, but in private, in cell. There's a great devotion to our Blessed Lady. And every day there was a Missa di Beata, one of the altars normally. There is a beauty in an ancient order and a spirituality based on something very ancient indeed. It is written in the Malthusian customs that our fathers followed a light from the east. It was looking therefore to the spirituality of the desert. What worked once still works. A certain simplicity. Life without screens. Life without noise. Unum necessarium. The day stamped with prayer and tranquility. Just the living sacrifice of the Lamb. That crooks from Bogotur Orbis. The cross stands while the world goes round. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your